You yeah, alright? Um, so today I'm doing a bit of photography. Um, this is actually my second location, which is about 15 minutes from home. Um, I first went off to the North Pennines, but unfortunately that was all rained off and couldn't see about 20 yards in front of us. So I've come to do one of our local viaducts, which you can see there. Yeah, I've currently got my camera set up. Um, the 60th of second f6.3, just as a trial. Put that onto put it on a two second timer. I'm just going to change it to F9 now. That's a bit better. So most of this video is going to be in this location. Um, well, I've got this free weekend where I had no football really and I thought right go out do some photography probably the best laid plans don't always work out um, that's why I've come here yes I'm facing basically where the sun is but I think I'm going to put on a polarizer just to see if I can change the, the water a little bit um, then I may also do a, a longer exposure and see how that goes. Okay then, so I've got the polarizer on and it's been a long time since I've actually used the polarizer. So I'm just going to try it in a few different positions, see how the photo comes out. Um, if it comes out the way I want, I'll leave the polarizer where it is. If not, I'll just keep changing it. As I've just seen there, us northerners are very friendly. Always say good morning. Unless well, it's afternoon. Okay, I think I've got the polarizer set. Um, I won't really know until I get it back on the computer at home. Um, but I'm just going to try and take some different aperture settings, see what they come out like. But I'm going to do a bit of a longer exposure now. Um, I'm going to do it about a third of a second. 
Well, let's make the fifth. F29. ISO 100. Let's see what this does. Do you know, it doesn't look too bad. Um, when I get it edited, I'll pull it into the video now. But yeah, I quite like that one. Right. So this is going to be a really short video. I mean, this is probably all it's going to be. Um, I might show a bit of the we are edit photos. I don't do anything fancy with them. Just basic editing at the moment until I relearn it all. Um, so hopefully, if you are enjoying the video, please do hit the thumbs up button to give us a like. Also subscribe to the channel, um, the more subscribers it's better for the channel, the more people get to view the content through the algorithm and if you've got any comments on this please drop a comment below and I would love to hear from you. So this is one of the photos that I was going to edit. Um, as you can see from the branches here they're a bit blurred so it must be on a longer shutter or the, it was windy um, so it could have easily been just been blowing about in the wind um, but I'm just going to show how I basically edit them I don't do too much that's about with the exposure contrast And usually the highlights and the shadows and I tend to take these to either side just to see how I prefer it and then do the opposite with the other and the same with the whites and blacks um, I'll then just next with the temperature So I like that because it's bringing a bit more blue into the sky. So I'll keep that. And again, just see what that does. Kind of like that. I, mean, I do tend to just mess about with the, the settings. Okay, now I'll open this into Photoshop. I don't use Lightroom, by the way, at all. Okay. So, first thing I do in here. Is I'll just play it by one of the levels. Just a touch. When I was doing sports photography, this is like the main sort of things I would do. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily do the um, raw editing unless it was a really bad dark photo. But now what I'm going to do because I'm going to mess about with some of the um, new features in Photoshop. So I don't like that being blurred. Um, and you can see there's a little speck there which I don't like. And I don't like this, but I don't mind this branch here hanging down, like pointing towards the viaduct. So.
saw, what I've got highlighted is, or should be, the remove tool. See there. So, I mean, normally I would not remove anything, and I know a lot of people don't like things being removed from photos, you should leave it as it is. But, this is my photo, so I can do whatever I want. Is that the way I feel? Let's see what this does. Let's just cut a bit. And remove that. It's not bad. Just clean this up. And when you think about the technology these days, it's not bad, is it really? For what you can do. I'll just move a bit to this one at a time to see how it goes. Because I'm worried it's going to actually affect the fire duct itself, but so far it's not. So we've got this little bit here, I'm just going to do that. I think that's missed the very duct a bit. Let me just undo that. Um, don't know why it's done that. Anyway, let's see what else. Right. Now the other thing I was thinking about was this branch here. So if I go back to the removal tool and the brush size. Just take out this. Now, to crop it, now I know people like Thomas Eaton, he loves his square crop. Um, I think I'm going to stick to an original, the original ratio. But just... Maybe trim that down on there. See how that looks. Yeah, I like that. So that is basically how I edit the photos. I know I'm not a professional, such as Thomas Heaton, Gavin Hardcastle, who I also watch. Um, they will probably show you how to do a load of different other stuff on it. But that's that.